Patient, Dr. Eminis. Medical examiner, Dr. Eminis. Patient, that's me, reports disorientation and rash. I am infected, paranoia, oral distortion. Did I say that already? Patient had the most exhilarating out-of-body experience. I escaped reality. I feel good. Confided findings in Dr. Swanson. There is a 79.55% probability it will lead to her death. Ah, oh, Philip, it is I, your friend, Dr. Eminis. Were you expecting somebody else? I already know that you'll come to find me, but I invite you all the same. Infection, Philip, didn't drive me insane as it did you. Oh, yes, I know about Clarence. I bonded with a turngate on a different plane. It has its advantages. I know about you, about the universe, about God. But you know what else I know? I know what you did. I know you revealed the location of this facility. I recall your arrival, Philip. I recall you blindly wandering into the computer room, seeking my knowledge, unable to digest it. And yet, I do not recall how it all ended. Where is this memory hiding? Age of the universe, 13.7 billion years. Intelligent species, 103. Meaning of life, negligible. But my own past is a mystery. I'm so bored. I know you. This place. Why Carpenter's Elevated came here. I know the expanse of the universe. The a priori nature of time. You could see it too. Were you not wrapped up in your own humanity? Artistic expression. Free will. Batting around your comforting fictional concepts like a toddler with a tennis racket. Yes, yes that's much better. I say, though oft inconveniencing, there are certain abilities I've acquired in recent times that can be altogether rather useful. Regardless, I just wanted to check on you. You're really doing rather well for someone with only 90 minutes left to live. Of course, predetermined universe and all that. I already understand your outcome. Now, my friend, our time is at an end. Time itself, in fact, has an end none too far in the future. At least for you. Perhaps someone else will take your hand and guide you the rest of the way. I remember why you're here. A Dr. Swanson has filled me in. I recall every single syllable of our conversation. There was ever so slight an inflection in her tone that suggested she no longer trusted me. Why ever dinosaur extinction 65 million years ago uh, would she think that? I, we share the same history. You and I are history. I recall, I recall the day of my birth. 18th of September, 1964, 3.46993412, recurring minutes past nine. I remember my mother looking surprised as I poked my head out into the world for the first time. You need a security registered palm, something I can provide. You need it at the library, something beyond my reach. When I became infected by those mindless zombies, I split off from the others and secured myself here. I cannot leave. Nonetheless, you will need a hand. I will not. Bring me a saw. I recall seeing one on my first day here. Three years ago, climate change of ten degrees over the past one million years. Uh, walk east and take the first door on your right. Good, 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 good. It has been precisely twelve days, eleven hours, thirty-nine minutes, and twelve point four seconds since something good last happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My congratulations, dear boy. You arrived. You will find your escape now. Your friend is well chosen. Insanity, after all, is rare in individuals. Only in humanity as a whole is it the rule. Nietzsche. I will remain here. This half-place continues to be the only challenge to my knowledge. May you enjoy your fate, Philip. What is left of it?